this is Make Geek and I'm Dan. In this week's video I'm building a table to go under these, the CNC router. I already have a table for the CNC router and when I first put it in place I put it right in the middle of the workshop. Um, and that's fine, but I've been on a mission to put everything on wheels so it's much easier to reconfigure the space as I need to. CNC is the next job. Um, rather than show like the, the nuts and bolts of cutting wood and uh, screwing things in. I'm just going to spend the video talking about uh, the design features of how I'm approaching this since I'm basically building a table kind of underneath the existing one to, to be able to lift it and raise it. This is half of the structure. Uh, the idea is that there are adjustable feet at the bottom of each leg so I'll be able to, when it's in a place, uh, get it nice and level. Um, and a little mechanism that means that when I do this, it pops up onto wheels, which means it should be much easier to move. So let's take a look at some of those features. So uh, this is one side. This is a heavy duty adjustable foot. I've just uh, carved into here, basically, I basically just drilled uh, a recess down into here enough to take the full foot and then uh, chiseled out enough space to put an M12 nut in here and this can just be adjusted up and down as necessary. The important thing obviously is that when the wheel is deployed it needs to be lower than the leg. Um, so here's the mechanism for the wheels and I can't remember exactly where I saw this. Uh, it's not really my own design. Uh, but I definitely watched a video a while ago that had pretty much a similar idea. So the wheel itself is on a block on a hinge. This is about nine centimeters up from the bottom of here. Um, and so when this is out of the way, this can just flip up and out of the way. Then this block has a little rounded corner here so that when that is down, it is able to pass uh, relatively smoothly. And I have a couple of eyelet bolts and a spring on this one. Um, you don't have to use a spring, I actually have an elastic band on the other side or a couple of elastic bands uh, which do the job just as well because uh, I ran out of springs. And I put a screw in just so I could have an easy essentially foot, foot pushable thing to drop it out of the way again. So that's the basic idea. Uh, there are no particularly complicated measurements here. The main thing, as I say, was getting the wheel so that when it's deployed it would be low enough. And once I'd set that up, I just attached it to a block, screwed the, the hinge in at the right height, and once I had this in place, just measure a piece of block uh, good enough to fit in this gap, and just pretty much uh, by eye it until it seems like it's going to slide in the right way. I say it is important to have this round over here so that it has something to, to click under. But that should mean that I can so as a close up of it in action when I lift it straight under. This is the other side uh, that I made earlier. It's basically the same mechanism, slightly different pieces of random wood that I had in the workshop. Uh, but the idea is this will tuck up against the side of this frame. Um, we'll have one on this side, one on that side, and then I can cross the space underneath the existing table uh, top just to then brace under. And I should just be able to adjust these feet up to where they need to be to just lift it a little off of the old legs. That's the plan. Oh. It's a little tight. 
anything. The pop-up wheels work too well because I'm trying to adjust it in place to keep lifting me off the ground. But so I just need to get myself uh, fettled a little bit. Get myself sorted out to put a cross beam just right across the pads on each side. And then I'll probably also put some cross beams lower down to give it some support. I want to leave underneath here as open as possible um, because I do have a load of rubbish <laughs> that I will ultimately want to take with the table. So I'm probably going to make some kind of platform so that all this stuff that's currently just on the floor under this table will end up on a shelf and will come with it. Uh, and there are a couple of important parts to that, specifically the bucket of fluid that I use as coolant and the computer chassis which is just driving some of the fans and power for the for the CNC board. Right. Yeah, let's do that. So this cross member just sits on top of the, the PLA got on each side and I've just dropped a couple of screws in the top to hold it in place and now the table top is resting on this beam. Just gonna do drop a couple of screws on this side as well. I love star drive screws. trim this obviously but that has got some supports in place underneath and we're kind of lifted off the ground of the old legs that were a little bit flimsy I pretty much bolted it together from stuff I had um, this is also a little bit more square than the original so we shall see next I want to do something to actually attach the metal aluminium tabletop to this um, just so that it doesn't slide around and uh, move too much. Let's think about how to do that. So in order to support moving this I needed to really handle all of my wiring and such which was kind of a mess before uh, so I've just gone through now. I've moved the the monitor and keyboard from this back corner to this front corner where it's screwed to the leg of this new frame. I've got my power supply and VFD now mounted to the frame underneath here and a lot of zip ties and cable ties uh, to bring all of these uh, into a bit of neatness. Hopefully this means that everything that it takes to run the CNC is very much attached to the table off the ground, leaving just basically one wire that comes off, which is the main power to everything else. So that's very easy to disconnect if I need to. The only other thing I need to sort out is the uh, fluid for the coolant, which at the moment I just have on a mini little set of wheels on its own, so it can kind of cart around with it. So I guess I should figure out if I can actually lift this thing onto the wheels. Moment of truth. Okay, it was not perfect because I think my couple of the springs could do with being a bit stronger. 
but we are on wheels. Pretty cool. Well, that seems to have worked pretty well. I'm quite happy with that. Unfortunately, I'm now running out of excuses for why my workshop is always such a complete mess. Uh, I guess I better get tidying. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.